This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. We're running 2022 or newer international LTs and some T680, KW T680s. And they're actually, they're actually rolling our fleet right now into 20, they're bringing in 24s and replacing the 22s. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Navajo express they say join the navajo family with guarantee home time so you could be with your loved ones the company is family owned and it is a third generation owned company it is a company where you can bring your writer furry friends or whoever you want to bring with you they got benefits that starts right out of the gate with no touch freight What do you guys require for uh, SAP drivers, if any? Sure. Uh, violation must be six months old. Uh, have to have a year of OTR experience in the last three years. And they have to have already taken, yeah, and they've already had to have taken their observed return to duty with another company. Okay, okay. Now, see, that's where the confusion came in at because we was all talking about that. So, the return to duty. So, we can't, in other words, our, so our safety department will not hire, let us hire anybody if, they're, if we're going to be their first company after they've completed the, the, the counseling phase. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, is there any particular reason why or, or that's just how? I have no idea that. It's it's safety, so who knows? <laughs> I got you. I got you. Um, how much how much experience do you guys require? And I'm I'm asking general for uh, drivers that are looking for, you know, looking for a good company to get six with as well. Yes, yeah, six six months in the last eighteen, six months of of OT, OTR experience in the last eighteen months. Okay, okay. Now, as far as you guys pre-employment drug screening, is it hair follicles or urine or both? Just just urine. All right. Uh, now, you guys do run all 48. Do you guys run Canada? We do not. All right. Uh, as far as the mileage pay, is it different for a driver that's not in the SAP program versus a driver like myself that's... Nope. Uh, that's uh that's you know that's in the SAP program or not in the SAP program? Nope, nope. no difference. Oh, okay, well nope. what, no difference. What would be what would be the mileage pay? It, it depends on the run. So we have multiple multiple runs that have multiple starting points. So it kind of depends on area you live, what what kind of route you want all that kind of stuff so it, there's multiple starting points all right let's uh let's do a ballpark so i'm out of ohio and i'm interested in regional where where would i lie at well depending on what part of ohio you're in <laughs> we have a regional that's a week home weekly run that runs 75 cents a mile oh wait a minute now oh hold on now hold on is this 1099 or w2 W two. Come on, man. There, there's, there's got to be some strings now, attached. Here's, here's, but, well, but here's the catcher. You have to. That's you have. That is a non SAP. You cannot be a SAP driver in that program on that on that run. And the reason is it's a regional. You never get back to Denver, and Denver's where they do all the testing. Okay. 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 So, see, thing. There's a lot of there's a lot of lot of components into what somebody gets paid and what they can run. So. It's it, when you you know when you want a ballpark, it's hard to do that because I can give you a ballpark for a regional, but if you're a SAP driver, you can't qualify for that because you can't get back here for a testing. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. Now for that regional uh, out of Ohio, which mm -hmm. I am, and of course I'm not a SAP driver, so um, but I will be able to take the truck home. Yes. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Uh, Speaking of trucks, what kind of equipment that you that you guys are have me in? We're running twenty 
22 or newer international LTs and some T680, KW T680s. And they're actually they're actually rolling our fleet right now into twenty. They're bringing in twenty fours and replacing the twenty twos. So a lot of us drivers be complaining a lot about companies not taking care of their their trucks. So how often do you guys take care of your trucks so you can keep us out here running so we can make money? What do you mean by taking care of their trucks, like? doing annual maintenance on them or stuff or pm and all like that you know if the truck breaks down we're able to get it fits right back up or you know or we be put in another truck just to keep running right and that's exactly what we do they're, if they can't get it fixed fast enough they're going to get a truck to you all right awesome cameras in the trucks yep both ways all right. Uh, benefits starts when I when I get there, or does it start after a month or something? After ninety days. After ninety days. All right. Pet and rider policy. How young can I bring my rider? I believe they down to seven. I believe. Okay. Okay. Cool. Awesome. I can bring my grandkid for the summer. Uh, again, uh, your SAP program. Uh, they can't use you guys for a return to duty, but uh, six months after after they come out of the program, do a return to duty with another company, and then they can come on mm -hmm. with you guys. Did I? Right. Did I so other words, we right. Other words, we 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 can do the random random phase of the of the SAP program with them. Awesome, awesome. Do you guys offer all their randoms? You guys offer any uh, sign on bonuses or anything like that? No, sir. No, sir. You do not. All right. Hey, this is some good information. I will definitely take this back and share this with my guys in the uh, SAP program group that I'm in. And I, I really do appreciate uh, all of the information that you've given me, sir. Thank you. Not a problem, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. Navajo Express. If I'm not mistaken, I do believe they are out of Denver, Colorado. So first thing first, drivers, what you want to know, yes, they are uh, SAP friendly. They are there to provide the latter part of your SAP program. Unfortunately, you will not, after you complete the SAP program and you go into the return to duty status, Unfortunately, they will not be able to help you on that regards. You will have to go through another company uh, that will help you with your return to duty status. But with Navajo, they are able to help you with your randoms throughout the rest of the program. So you got to be like six months out of that and navajo express will be that company to help sap drivers let me just stop the show for a minute it's just unfortunate that it's a lot of you guys that's coming in this industry and y'all getting in that particular situation no matter what you know drug of choice that you chose that unfortunately you was popped with my suggestion is to make absolutely sure that you are clean okay clean and the way to do that is a number of ways you can go to your local clinic you probably might have to come out of the pocket and request a drug test for your own personal records and you can see whether or not if you're good or not i would suggest you do that uh home uh test kits i believe is available don't quote me on that but you could probably look it up on google and just make sure that you clean up your backyard before you even think about 
coming into the industry because once you get into the clearinghouse, it's, it's not to say that it's over, okay, because a lot of people that was in the clearinghouse, they are successful now, but it is difficult. It is difficult because not only that you're in the clearinghouse, it makes your selection of companies a lot slimmer and to get back in the truck a lot harder, okay? But I'm giving you companies that are willing to work with you to get you back into the truck, all right? So Navajo Express is one of those companies with limited, uh, with limited help, I should say. But Navajo Express is a good company if you're interested in uh, getting with a company and you're not a SAP driver. They do have, if you're out of Ohio, they do have a position out of Ohio, your home weekly, and it pays 75 cent per mile. Now, listen, you can't be a SAP driver to run that run. But if you're clean and everything, you might be able to get lucked up and get on that route. And you will be able to take the truck home. And you will be able to bring your kid if you have one. Good, the, what they require, simple. Good MVR and driving record. Credible work history with the quotations on credible. No DUI or DWI records within the past three years. No felony recorded within the past five. And if you want to see if you qualify, just pick up the phone like I did and give them a call and see what they can offer for you today. Navajo Express out of Colorado, Denver. Colorado. Now I know I meant to ask them how they would get you out there, but in any case like that, I'm going to assume that they'll get you out there by plane. Uh, of course, orientation is going to be like a couple of days and then they will get you in the truck. Yes, they do have cameras front facing and outward facing and no sign on bonus mm. okay well i mean the days of sign on bonus is probably going to the way to the wayside anyway you know uh a lot of these trucking companies are not hurting anymore i mean hell you got new drivers that's coming out of school having a hard time getting with companies like swift <laughs> i'm just saying but in any case, if any of you drivers drove or drive for Navajo Express, let us know your experience with the company, whether it's good or bad. Is it a good company to drive for? Is it a bad company to drive for? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? next, next, next.